what we call a brief. Every university has a brief. And in that brief, you outline the programs you want to run over a period of time. So this university started with two colleges, College of Arts Management and Social Sciences, as well as College of Natural and um, Applied Sciences. But when you look at the brief, you'll find out that other colleges are to be established. And College of Law is part of it. And we decided to start the College of Law based on the brief. So that's what informed it that it's, it's already a, pl a planned project to be executed at a particular time. Okay? And at, I think at the fifth year of existence. So we have even started this building three years ago, long before the fifth year. And so we are happy that um, we are achieving it as at this session. So that's what gave the, um, that's what led to this. And um, also, being a private university, we've looked at it that is more, um, how do I put it, more valuable to establish professional programs. So the first two colleges were established running mainly single honor programs. So we have added College of Basic Medical Sciences, including nursing, physiotherapy, and such like. And the next professional college is College of Law. And uh, we do know that with the College of Law, we are going to attract a lot of students here based on whatever number we're given and we're going to train professionals and contribute to the growth of the society. So that's what led to this, to the establishment of College of Law. And for today's program, which I'm sure you want to know about, is that anywhere justice is dispensed, you need to have the Justicia FPG, as we have heard today. And this is one building on a university where justice will be dispensed. So you want to teach them not just theory, but practical. We really, really desire, based on our vision and mission, to train and graduate lawyers, okay, who are 21st century lawyers, and who we go there based on our motto, which is intellectual radiance, to shine the light to dispense justice. They are going to be trained in a way that even before they go out there, they will be handling cases here. And that's why we have law clinic. We don't just have the moot court. We have the moot court and we have the law clinic where they're going to use as their practicum or practical exposures and they will handle cases. Okay, so we will teach them from here to know how to be just and fair so that when they go out there, they will dispense justice and fairness. We do know that there's a lot of injustice in the land, and I know that in this place, you're going to have special, you know, lecturers that, are, that have specialties in some of these areas where they can dispense justice, whether homicide and all those type of uh, cases. The people that will be lecturing here, for me particularly, I, I love what I call active-based learning, problem-based learning. So my charge to the lecturers, to those that will manage this place, is to ensure that these students are taught life experiences. Again, they are taught entrepreneurship. They should not come out and be looking for jobs. They should know how to um, set up their own law firms or businesses where they can use what they have learned. Those two things. You know, problem solving, learning, entrepreneurship and innovation.